All right, so first you're going to connect ratchet link to cylinder. Like so. Install your link pin facing upwards if you're going to tighten the bolt. If you do not place it in the right orientation, if you had this on the bottom side and you went to react against it, it's going to shear off that link pin. Gotcha. So, and also too, if you're using it for offshore applications, always install it facing up because it will fall out over uh, moon pools or anything like that. All right, set that for the time being. Take your hoses. Take dust covers off, pump, install your hoses. They only go one way? Yes, they only go one way, male to female and female to male. Now you're gonna connect your hoses. Advance, retract. No way to get them confused. Again, female to male and male to female. And always make sure that your couplers are tight because if the couplers are not tight, slightly disengaged because it, it, it does swivel, these will break free. Um, and you'll run into an issue where the cylinder does not work correctly. Uh, so make sure that they're tight, tight on the pump. Take your cylinder and ratchet link, set it off to the side. Turn pump on. So first, verifying that the pump works, it does come on. You're going to go to your torque chart on the back of the cert, or right here, and it will tell you the set PSIs and the output of torque you're going to apply. All right, so while looking at your torque chart, if you're trying to achieve 2,400 foot pounds or 2,400 PSI, which would be or 2,400 foot pounds, you would simply just scan through your torque chart until you find the 2,400, which the closest number to that is uh, your 2,412, which would be 5,600 PSI. So we've set the pump. And while holding the advance, you're going to bring up the regulator. The 5600. And I generally run it about a few times just to verify that that pump is set to the correct pressure. Again, as I'm doing this, I'm checking the cylinder and make sure that the ratchet link is advancing and retracting like it should. And then make sure that the ratchet link is actually rotating each time. All right, turn pump off. So why did we run that on the ground? So you want to run it off the application before you apply the torque, just to set your foot pounds and PSI. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make sure it's engaged. And make sure that the cylinder is actually engaging to the ratchet link and it's functioning correctly. So, if all is good and everything checks out. So, if you can just make sure that the bolt itself is already tight. So you're not sitting there. And once everything is tight, everything checks out good. You're going to hit it there and hold it down until the bolt or nut stops spinning. Once it stops spinning, let it go, let cylinder retract, and then proceed until the nut stops spinning and your torque is applied all the way. How do you break it loose? All right, so 
if you need to break the nut free, what you're simply going to do is turn over ratchet link from the position you had on advance to now the opposite side. Make sure you take link pin out and flip it over. Remember, always key ring up. Key ring is also always facing up. All right. And then out of the way of the, the structure. And then you're going to put it back on set nut. And then you repeat the process just in reverse. Thank you.